Hello everyone and welcome back for day 13 of the Spring to Life 30 Day Springtime Yoga Journey. I'm Ashley and today's yoga class theme is wood, the element. So in Chinese medicine theory, wood is the element associated with the spring season. And so it's also associated with the inner and outer sides of the body. Uh, the emotion associated with springtime is actually anger. And some people may actually become more easily irritated during this season. And a modern explanation of why this happens could actually have something to do with seasonal allergies because one of the symptoms of seasonal allergies is irritability. <laughs> so today's yoga practice is designed to stretch and open the side body, and that's the inner and the outer sides of the body. And this will help relieve stress and tension that could contribute to an irritable or angry mood. And it'll help lymphatic flow in the body. And today's practice will include a combination of yin yoga poses and yang yoga poses. And the yin yoga poses will only be held for one minute. So not to worry, not super long holds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Feel free to take a comfortable seat, maybe close your eyes. Take a moment just to drop in. Notice what is present for you today. Emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Remembering that you are not your anger. You are not your irritability. These are simply feelings that pass through. They come and they go. Take a full breath in. Exhale with a sigh. And gently open your eyes. All right, go ahead and come onto all fours, hands and knees. And then take your knees a little wider than your hips, your toes together, and set your hips back. And we're gonna go to sideways. Take your hands over to your right. And then just drop the left side of your torso toward the floor. And then your ear to your left arm. And you can just drop your right arm to the floor and just rest your right wrist or right palm on top of your left forearm. Just allow yourself to stay connected with your breath or with something about this moment that brings you comfort. And slowly and gently press yourself back up. Walk your hands over to the other side. Rotate the right side of your ribs down, left side up. And once you're here, maybe rest your left wrist or your palm onto your right forearm. Maybe even close your eyes.
And slowly come back up. Press yourself back up and then have a seat on your mat. You can sit long ways on your mat. I'm just showing this way. Cross your right knee over your left knee. Lean to your left and bend your left knee. And then sit so that you're on your sitting bones. You can lift and lower your hips just to try to even things out. Your knees might look more like this, or maybe you can get your knees stacked for cow face, also known as shoelace in yin yoga. And let your legs come out a little bit away from your hips, so not straight across and not straight back either. And from here, lean your torso over to your right, and then just slide your hand off to the right. Take your left arm up, and then just drape your left arm over your head and then turn your torso as sideways as possible. And again, we're not gonna be here super long. So just allow yourself to really notice where you feel this pose, what it brings up for you and just breathe. And slowly come back up, reach your left arm up, and then switch sides, take your other knee on top, so your left knee. Once your legs are situated, make sure your sitting bones are even, and then lean your left hand to your left, use it for support, and then take your right arm up, drape it over your head, and then just turn more toward the ceiling. Slowly come back up, take your legs out straight. Okay, come on to your knees, face a long edge of your mat. And then come all the way over to the left side of your mat. Feel free to double up your mat under your left knee for extra padding and take your right heel off to the side, level with your left knee. Point your toes, turn them in and take your right hand to your right thigh, reach your left arm up, lean your hips to your left and your torso to your right. Maybe turn your head toward the ceiling. Keep turning your torso toward the ceiling. Parigasana. Slowly come back up, switch to the other side of your mat or just turn around, pad your right knee if you need to, 
Take your left heel level with your right knee, legs straight, turn your toes in until you can take your whole foot down. Take left hand to thigh, right arm up, turn to your right, lean to your left. Really push through your legs for more support, making that your strong, steady base. Slowly come back up. Take your mat back to neutral. And then take your right foot to the right corner of your mat. And then take your left heel to the floor so your toes point up. And then slide your left heel to the left as you squat to your right. Feel free to support yourself on your hands or lean back. Join your palms for Skandasana. Just take some slow, deep breaths, lengthening your torso out of your hips. And lower your hands. You can just switch sides by pushing your right leg straight, bending your left knees, shifting to your left. Maybe lean back and your hips might be really high and that's fine. Maybe join your palms. Shift back to center for Sarda Padottanasana. Turn your toes in slightly and then fold in between your legs, heart first, head last. Really pushing through both the inner and outer edges of your legs and feet, lifting your inner feet arches away from the floor. Lengthen your spine, step your knees to the floor, and then please lie on your back for sideways bridge. Take your hands to the outer edges of your mat and then walk your shoulders in underneath your spine. Push your head, shoulders, and feet down and lift your hips up. You can totally just do regular bridge or feel free to walk your feet over to your right. Lift your hips even, so especially lift your right hip, it'll tend to want to drop. You can stay here or keep everything the same in your upper body and drop your hips to the floor or to your right arm. And then maybe extend one leg at a time straight. One at a time, bend your knees. Push your feet down, lift your hips up. Heel toe all the way over to the other side. And even out your hips. Push your shoulders down, keep your upper back active. And drop your hips. Do or don't extend one leg at a time towards straight. One at a time, bend your knees, push your feet down, lift your hips up, heel toe back to the center, push your hips high, and release your hands, take your hips back to the floor. Do a couple of windshield wipers, letting your knees go side to side, rolling over your outer hips. 
And then roll onto your left side. Prop yourself up on your left forearm like so, so your arm is angled slightly out away from you and your fingers point to the long edge of your mat. And then step your right foot out in front of you toward that direction. <laughs> and then stay working here or bend your back knee, reach back, grab your foot, and just let your arm be straight and just let the tension hold your foot and hand in place. Then you can stay here, turn a little more toward the ceiling and just breathe here. Cat pulling the tail. Let go of your foot. You can roll onto your other side or flip over to the other side. Prop yourself up on your right forearm. Take your left leg out in front of you. Feel free to stay here or bend your back knee, reach back, grab your foot. Just let it hang there. Maybe turn a little more toward the ceiling. The only muscle really to work here is your arm holding you up, your shoulder. And slowly let go of your foot. Lie on your back. Happy baby. Grab your outer feet with your hands. Pull hands and feet into each other. Just gently do a few rocks side to side. And slide your hands down to the tops of your ankles. Let your knees go wide. Just let gravity do the work here. And rest Shavasana. I am not my anger or my irritability. These emotions are just passing through. Take a full breath in. Exhale completely. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. And bend your knees, roll to your side. And slowly sit back up.
Thank you all so much for coming to practice with me today. I will see you tomorrow for day 14. Take care.